Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 28th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. This week our honeypots detected an uptick in queries for Apache OFBIS. OFBIS is sort of an e-commerce, enterprise resource planning a kind of suite. It looks like pretty massive uh, software. I'm not really that familiar with the particular software and it does not appear to be one of those super popular uh, pieces of software with about 500 to 1,000 of them being exposed to the internet. However, they had a number of vulnerabilities recently, one of them allowing arbitrary code execution without any authentication. So it's very possible that uh, people like cryptocurrency gangs and such picked up on that and are going to pick off the remaining OFBIS servers shortly. What we're seeing in our honeypots is just scanning. Our honeypots are not emulating OFBIS. So these scans probably just tell the attacker that we are not uh, vulnerable. And an exploit for the most recent remote code execution vulnerability was published on GitHub earlier this year. And then we got an interesting vulnerability in, well, old Unix utilities. And that's always a little bit of favorite of mine. In this case, the culprit is the wall command, the command that you're using to send messages to all users. Typically, it's used, for example, to announce a system shutdown or a similar action that you all users who are currently logged in, you want to be aware of. This command is fully enabled in Ubuntu 22.04, so all users can use it. Other distributions only allow root to use this command. There's also a setting that individual users can use to block these messages. But the main problem here is that the command line arguments are not properly escaped in wall. And what this means is that an attacker is able to display an arbitrary message on an other user's terminal. Now, while it sounds like this is supposed to be what a wall is all for, all for is to display messages on other uh, terminals. Well, uh, the problem here is that it's due to control characters and such that are not properly escaped. You're able to essentially make this command look like, for example, a sudo prompt and trick the user into entering a password. If the user enters the password, well, on Ubuntu, it will then uh, trigger the command not found logic. You've probably seen this where you enter a command and well, you had a typo and then Ubuntu suggests a command for you to run. But this also leaks the string that you entered. In this case, uh, the password that you entered. So it's really a a little bit of social engineering attack, uh, tricking users into entering their password, but this bug in wall makes it actually much more likely that users will fall for this fake pseudo prompt or other ideas that attackers may come up with. This vulnerability was found by Skylar Ferranti and they did write up a quick post about it, including proof of concept exploit code. And apparently, according to Brian Krebs, there is uh, currently an attack underway targeting Apple users, trying to get them to agree to reset their Apple ID password. This is one of those multi-factor authentication fatigue attacks where an attacker is initiating the reset, then you get the pop-up on your phone and well, they're just continuing trying to reset the particular uh, phones or the particular account's password and hoping that eventually the victim will give in and just click OK to make the phone shut up. The best solution in order to avoid uh, this from happening is to set up a recovery key for your Apple account. The problem with the recovery key is essentially a random string that you have to remember, print. It actually offers you to print it during the setup. And once you have set up a recovery key, the recovery key is the only way how you can ever gain access back to your 
Apple ID account, which of course is a problem if you ever lose that recovery key. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And remember, you can also add this podcast to your Amazon Echo Flash update and stay up to date in the morning as you get ready for work. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.